Repair of anal fistula with fibrin glue. The fistula is first localized and cannulated, then prepped for the glue. The margins and canal of the fistula are de-epithelialized with electrocoagulation and slash or roughening the fistula's canal with a brush. Some bleeding will actually improve the adhesion of the fibrin clot. The gluing is done so as to completely fill the defect and around the borders of the fistula, sealing it with a clot. Fibrin glue only works on tissue capable of local regeneration for wound healing since the glue does not actually function as a seal or a plug, but provides the substrate for fibroblasts to move in. After about four weeks, the glued surface is replaced by scar tissue and the fibrin glue totally decomposes. Mechanical stress must be avoided while this stage is developing. Repair fistula, oromaxillary, oronasal. Local anesthesia is injected into the mucosa. The physician uses a scalpel to excise the epithelized tract. An incision is made into the palatal mucosa and a local mucosal flap is developed. The flap is sutured in layers. Repair of nasolabial fistula. The physician repairs a fistula communication from the nasal or sinus regions to the nasolabial region of the mid-face. The repair is dependent on the size of the fistular tract. For small defects, an excision of the epithelized tract is made from source to skin surface. This wound is sutured in layers. In larger defects, a nasolabial flap may be necessary after excision of the fistula. A nasolabial flap is designed, incised, and rotated to the defect region. The flap is sutured over the defect in layers. Repair of graft enteric fistula the physician opens the abdomen under antibiotic cover and exposes the graft enteric fistula site by careful dissection, most often aortic slash dacron anastomosis with a fistulous connection to the duodenum. The physician disconnects the fistula and repairs the enteric defect using two layers of suture. The physician examines the vascular prosthesis, removes the prosthesis and sews in appropriate new bypass grafts if there is obvious graft infection. If there is no obvious infection, the physician repairs the graft with local sutures. Repair oval window fistula. Repair round window fistula. The physician makes a posterior canal incision through the external ear canal opening. Sometimes, a post-auricular incision is performed instead. Under microscopic guidance, the physician reflects the skin flap and posterior eardrum forward. The round or oval window area is inspected for fluid leak from the inner ear. The lining around the round or oval window is gently roughened. The area is packed with fat, fascia or muscle tissue. The eardrum and skin flap are replaced and the canal is packed. If a post-auricular incision is made, it is sutured. <laughs>